welcome to day one of my 2016 Christmas series. I'm really excited to share with you today um, my first video. So please excuse my dog, he decided that he wanted to see what was going on so he came into the craft room and had a little nose about but he soon got bored and walked away. So that's it, we won't see him again. Um, so I've just took a black sock and I've put it inside of a glass and I'm filling that up with toy stuffing. Then I'm taking a clear elastic band and I'm just going to use that to close off the top of this sock. And this is really similar to my day one for my 20, um, 2015 Christmas series. So if you haven't seen that video, um, I will have a link to that at the end of this one. Um, but it's really similar, only there we were making a snowman. Whereas this is going to be a penguin. So I'm just sectioning off the top third of the sock now with another elastic and that will create the space for the penguin's head. So I'm really excited to share this video with you. Um, one of those reasons, one of the reasons is because of the reaction to my snowman video. So the snowman video was my most popular video from last year. Um, so I thought you know, the snowman's really cute, but he needs he needs some buddies, so I figured I'd make a penguin. So I'm just using, um, I think this is actually some sticks to um, roll of adhesive dots. I'm just using something circular to draw out two circles, one slightly bigger and one slightly smaller. And this is just on some white felt that I'm cutting out with my Fiskars scissors. So I'll make sure that I've got all of the products that I'm using um, linked in the description below. I do try to do that with all of my videos, so if you're ever um, curious about what I've used or you're wondering where you can get that from, I'll usually have it linked below um, to a shop. I do use affiliate links where possible, which means um, you still pay the same amount, but I get a small amount of commission, which um, helps me fund my YouTube channel. So I'm just taking some Tombow Mono Multi Glue and using that to attach the white uh, stomach and the white face. So you'll see that I originally did these almost like a figure eight um, together, but they weren't actually quite big enough, so I cut them apart so I could have those separate, and it doesn't matter because that middle section is going to be covered up with a scarf anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the top of that black, uh, black sock and I'm just bringing in another sock, this time a stripey one and I'm just rolling up the um, sort of like the cuff around the ankle to make what will be the edge of the hat and I just think it looks really cute um, to add that extra little detail when you're making the hat just to roll that part up um, so it looks like the, the trim on a bobble hat. So once I've uh, played around with that and got that into place, I'm just going to measure out how high up the sock I want to um, place the bubble. And then I'll tie that off um, nice and tight again. And then I'll just trim off the excess um, with my scissors. So for this particular um, penguin, I'm using, um, it's actually one of my old socks. Um, so. If I'd have used um, a men's sock, then I probably wouldn't have had to have made the next step quite so complicated because the sock would have been long enough um, to make the scarf out of one piece of material, which is what I did with the snowman last year. Um, but because this sock's a little bit smaller, I did have to make the scarf out of two separate pieces, but that's okay, I'll show you how to do that. Um, and what I'm just doing there is just trimming those leftovers so I get a nice little um, bubble effect at the top of the hat. So I'm going to go ahead and trim down this sock um, into two separate pieces. Um, I cut along this edge here and then once I got to the end I just cut off the toe section because it, it doesn't look as nice. Um, and when you stretch that fabric and pull it, all of the cut edges will roll in on themselves, so you end up with a nice clean finished edge. Okay, so I'm gonna take one of those pieces now and I tied a knot in this piece because I originally thought that I was just gonna place that knot down. Um, you'll see in a minute that I change my mind and I do it slightly differently, um, but I kept that in just so you could see my thought process. So I'm wrapping around uh, one of those pieces of sock and I'm just wrapping that round and then tucking in the edges to hold that in place. I will go back and add a little bit of glue um, but as you can see for the time being I've just tucked those edges in to hold that in place and that makes sort of the first part of that scarf for the penguin. 
And then I could have just glued this knotted piece on top, but I decided I didn't like the way it looked. So I undid the knot and I'm going to place that underneath the section that's already on the penguin. And then um, again, I could have just placed a dot of glue and left it like this. And I think that's really cute. And I did consider leaving it like that. But then I decided to um, tie almost like a um, almost like a tie knot. Um, by wrapping that around and then pulling it back through and then just straightening that out and I think that gives the most realistic um, sort of scarf shape or scarf knot um, so I was pleased with how that turned out and then again um, the same as what I did with the hat I'm just going to take my scissors and cut a couple of slits upwards into each of those scarf ends to give them a almost a frayed look so once I've finished with the second side of the scarf, I just need to add some details for the face and the beak. So I considered using buttons for this, but then I decided to cut out a triangle from some yellow felt. I really liked that as the penguin's beak. And I also decided to use some googly eyes for the penguin's eyes. So again, I'm going to glue those down using the same glue, the Tombow Mono Multi Glue, and um, just press each of those in place. So when I glued down the eyes, I just took a minute um, to make sure that they were glued down nice and straight and I didn't have a cross-eyed penguin. Once I had those in place, I just added some glue to the top of the beak so it could sit slightly away from the penguin's face just to add a little bit of um, dimension and I really liked the way the beak looked sat on top of the scarf. Okay, so that's it for day one. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do let me know by either leaving a comment below or hitting the like button. If you haven't yet, do hit subscribe to make sure you don't miss any further videos from me. And on the screen right now, you can see two other videos. Uh, one is day one of my 2015 card series, and the other is a video that I think you might enjoy. So that's all from me, and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.